Hello, this is Jawad Hamidi, co-founder of Totrim. In this video, we will learn how to set our starting view in Revit and also we will create a parametric title block in this video. So let's go. Maybe you have seen some projects with every time you open them, it doesn't open with different views, it just open with a specific view. And maybe you thought you want to uh, apply it in your project too because it has uh, many features. The first feature is that uh, you can uh, give a, a general look to everyone that will open the model about your project and also a little tip here that uh, you give the first impression to your uh, client, not the uh, not being uh, not uh, and your client won't be uh, won't be in a mysterious place with a lot of lines, and you will give her give him or her a general look, and the first impression you are going to give uh, them with your work. Okay, it is really easy. For example, for this project, uh, uh, it is a sheet here that uh, has made and many views uh, are placed in here. And every time you open this project, for example, uh, if I would go to the level one, but after that, if you would uh, close all of the views, when you open the model again you will see this every time you will see this view or this sheet to set your uh, starting view it is really easy you just should go to your uh, manage tab and from uh, manage project panel you should select the starting view tool for example, you can see the name of this sheet here that it uh, will uh, give you uh, a clue that uh, what is going on here. For example, if I uh, if you you are going to show the 3D view every time, you should put it on 3D view here or other 3D views. For example, 3D view kitchen. After that, if you would uh, click on OK and save the project. For example, I will save it on my desktop. And if you would close the project and open it again, you will see this time it will open. Uh, it will open in your uh, 3D kitchen uh, view, not uh, that sheet. Okay, so it is really easy to do it. And also, you have another uh, option here uh that is uh, last view uh the this option is about uh, the last view you would uh, close the revit model with that would be a starting view for the next time you will open the model so it is not a big uh, uh big a big solution or anything complex so uh the last view you will close uh, would be the first view after you open the model for the next step. and it's a it's like a cycle okay uh, but uh, the second step we are going to do is how to design this kind of sheet for our project for example this sheet has two parts the the views that are going to, uh, to place them in our project and some uh, intelligent parts about client name, date, and revision, or other kind of things. Now, we want to create a title block here uh, uh, for ourselves uh, or for our company. To do that, you need to go to the application menu and click on new and new, click on uh, title block. Okay, from here, go to the title blocks and select your uh, sheet size. If you are going to print that, you need maybe the specific size. But if you are not going to print them, you can choose the biggest font to have a, a better and bigger uh, place to work with. Okay, uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to use A0 for, uh, A0 for our tutorial. Let's create an 
A0 and click on open. Okay, in our uh, title block, we have two parts. The fixed part, for example, we write project name. It is the fixed part. But the, for, the, for the value of that, we need a label that will uh, going to uh, be different for every project. And it should be smart to change uh, the name of the, uh, the uh, to, uh, to change that text according to the name of the project for each project. So we have two parts here, text and labels. Texts are fixed uh, elements and labels are our intelligent part. Okay, to uh, start our uh, design, I'm going to create a field region around this. To do that, you can choose field region here, from here, and let me create a field region here. Okay, maybe five centimeter. Let me put uh, my keyboard on English. Uh, five centimeter. Okay, it is a little bit uh, high. Maybe put it on twenty millimeter. Okay, that's good. From here, here, here. And also, I want be a, uh, I want, uh, I want it about the thick line here. Okay, another offset from here, from here, from here, and from here. And then we are going to use trim. You can use trim from here or shortcut TR. Okay, press TR and trim this with this this with this and this with this okay click on finish and you are you will have a field region here but let me change the field region here to a green uh, color according our uh, company color that will uh, show our brand okay select your field region click on edit type duplicate it green hatch and click on ok and ch uh, change your pattern from here we need a solid color or solid fill and I want uh, the color should be green here to be match with our brand click on ok and ok Okay, this is a uh, border for our world. The next one is our uh, logo. Let me uh, bring our logo in. Let me find it in our uh, PC and drag your logo in. It will. Uh, it will. It is very easy that you can place your logo on your cover sheet too or cover page too. Okay, let me place it here and here. Okay, uh, the next part is how to insert your text and your label. To do that, you can go to the create tab. Uh, for the fixed part, use text and for the intelligent parts, use label. Okay, let me choose text here, click on here, maybe client name. Okay, this is good. We'll let me let this space. Uh, okay, this is good, but it is uh, too small. Let me change the size of this text and continue. Okay, the text size should be about maybe 12 or 13. Okay, this is good for me. Let me place it here. Okay. For the next part and for the value, it should be label. Okay, when you go to the create tab and click on label, you will have, when you click, you will have different parameters that will uh, update according, your, according to your project parameters. For example, if you need a um, client name, you should find, find it here. Client name, let me find it. 
Okay, client name. You can insert it to your label and you can also insert a sample value and assign a sample value to it. Okay, click on OK and put it here. Okay, this is good for me. Okay, that's nice. And let me put it here and also change the it is the size of this text is good for me. I want uh, I want uh, I want a difference between these two uh, to show you the difference between text and uh, label. Okay, let me create a table here with lines. Click on lines and create some lines here and place your values here okay let me select it click on array tool put it on a second and from here to here and let let's uh, insert the value about five or maybe more Okay, that's nice for me. Let me delete it and use TR for here. Okay, this is my table and another, I want another line for the vertical axis. Uh, click on create a line and let me create a line from here to here. Again, click on line from here to here and put your text here, the fixed part. Move it a little bit here and put your uh, variable, variable parts or label uh, in this column. Okay, you can continue this uh, work uh, with all of the uh, all of the rows and cells for different uh, parameters for example project issue date a project name or a sheet number and all of the things and after that well you can place it on your project for example okay this is my in my project and let's create a new sheet from here final one and click on ok and now you can place uh, your views, your project views in this. And after that, you can set the starting view to this uh, sheet. And every time your client would open the project, will see your logo, your uh, project information, and all of the views and general looks you want to give you, you want to give to your clients. 